Hello and welcome to TVC News at 12. The House of Representatives has called for improved citizen engagement to curb the trend of killing of security personnel. It's also called on government and security agencies to tackle the rising insecurity. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. Insecurity tops the list of the many challenges facing Nigeria, but security personnel on peace missions have suddenly become objects of attacks, killed and maimed at will. Only recently, 17 security officers were killed in Okoma, Delta State. Last week, five soldiers were again killed in Abia State. The, soul of the, departed, rest in perfect. the chairman has committee and police says there is the need to curb the trend. This form of attack and killing of military personnel by a gunmen in the southeast and other parts of Nigeria has a potential of depending the morale of our armed forces, endangering the lives and property of Nigerians and affecting the war of insurgents, which has no far recorded and success. Our armed forces are our most prized assets who sacrifice day and night to keep Nigeria one, to keep Nigeria safe, are randomly killed by non-state actors. Mr. Speaker, it is indeed extremely sad. In another motion, the parliament calls on security agencies to review the nation's security architecture and ensure safety of lives of the people across the country. Collaboration and coordination among our state governments, security agencies, and relevant stakeholders to develop holistic and sustainable solutions to the challenges posed by bandits and other security challenges in Northwest and Nigeria in general. Attacked in the forest of Panshin, Kanke, Kanam, the road that linked the three local governments of the constituency and other kidnapping activities of local farmers have been going on unabated. The death of Ebu Kaunwoko in Nigeria and in South Africa is now a subject of probe before the parliament. South Africa, a nation we once looked up to as a beacon of hope and progress, now stands as a stark reminder of the systematic injustice and abuse our people suffer abroad. Deputy Speaker Benjamin Carlo calls for citizen support with the recently launched peace fund to take care of families of slain security officials. The House calls for more enlightenment of the citizens on the essential services provided by security agencies to end the serial attacks. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.